Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler 2020 as Japan. Last time we finally managed to conquer the entire Korean Peninsula after a rather long, a not too long, but still very costly war that uh, <laughs> did cost, did uh, sort of did put an enormous dent in our military. Casualties right now is 1.63 million and losses 3,338. Kills, of course, we are at the top, which is not quite a surprise. But still, in comparison to the total army staff that we have is 4.8 million. Tech-wise, we are the advanced nation, but as you can tell, the economy is somewhat not going the right direction once again well with the exception of the with the exception of the GDP and trying to deal with the production problems right now at somewhat of a great cost I am trying to build a lot of new consumer goods but this also means the demand for industrial when it comes to maintenance and all is likely to increase so I may have to start building a couple more industrial facilities no, despite the cost and hope for the best where exactly I suppose we could try Erie and not so sure about Kunsan but why not as for the rest of the now greater Japanese Empire now uh, Kumning and this city the An city of Anning which if you recall in the Vietnam episode took a while to try and surround at any rate, try to get most of the uh, military in reserve. Uh, the aircraft, all of them get in reserve. Ships, as well. All of them need to be in reserve now. With the exception problem of the ships that are all the way out in the Pacific. Which also means I have to find transport ships that could get over here and likely to start well perhaps resupply them which one on the other hand is uh, something I'm a, little, I'm a little unsure right now unfortunately not so sure about these or any of these other transports but I guess I could try these SDK 20 uh, something something both of which are in Vietnam, or what was Vietnam. But first, let's just get them all the way up to Nagasaki. And it does look like the economy's recovered a bit. And the GDP is hopefully going to once again rise. Oh, right, I forgot. I forgot that I have to get these units off this island, as they've been stuck here all this time. As for the rest of the army, the majority of which are, after all, at least here, formerly Korean units, well, I suppose I could start transferring them somewhere, but where? All the way to the potential war front against India, the current richest nation right now, I think. Hold on, let me double, let's double check. Yep, the richest nation, second only to Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Texas. Whereas we, in $35 billion, around here. Even though the fact our debt is still the highest. Not a surprise. Uh, but still, California second, West Germany's third. But I'm guessing bit by bit, the other, the other nations are is going to... Well, perhaps uh, repurchase some of the bonds. Guinea Bissau is one example, I guess. That uh, their GDP is not too high. Population is uh, rising. Treasury, on the other hand, rather small. Or at least it is now. At the moment, until, well, maybe whether or not 
their treasure would rise again and be able to repay some of their debts. As for us, well, we still got a lot of these for the 2020s at least that hopefully will be enough to be able to repay some of them. But it's the ones from 2010, 2010, that's going to be the most expensive. And that's going to take a while. Unfortunately. But at any, but at any rate, we're just going to sit idly by and do what we can. And, well, start transferring some of the uh, uh, former, now former Korean units to somewhere. But where? Hakoku or... Hmm. <coughs> I suppose this village would do, so reserve them there. Most of them, not all of them though. And there's a slight delay, which is to be expected, and now the entire military forces are going to be moving. Uh, some of them. Majority of that are left behind, however, actually concerned the amount of engineers we have. Yeah, I'm going to have to transfer these as well. Where else, though? Prom or Prome will do, but I suppose the other uh, choice would be Sagaing. So let's just transfer them there. And at least we have some railways built. And it would be nice to build some more railways up north. So that we, at least maybe some supply lines could, well, maybe be transferred? More supplied, well, more properly, considering the way our supply runs it the way it is. But in the end, it's probably best to do nothing. Oh. As we're John. Da -da 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 -da. Industrial goods. Um, how are we doing in our industrial goods? Eh, why not? Our stock's pretty high. And to see if I can try and make some new trade agreements with some of the nations. Uh, we still got weeklies with Australia. Uh, nothing in Marcel, West Germany, weekly, Switzerland, weekly coal, alright, uh, let's see, Mongolia, Inner Mongolia, Azerbaijan, California, none, Washington DC itself, Nothing. Not even New York. Well, we might need to make some new trade agreements. Let's try Paris. D, what do you need? Hmm. Plenty of agriculture. Plenty of water. Plenty of t uh, timber is actually the current problem, it, it would seem. And although daily will be nice for about a month, and of course, again, domestic prices. Um, uh, hmm. I suppose we'll go back to weekly this time, about 60 weeks or so. And I want at least a thousand tons or so, or, or something like that, of timber, which unfortunately I have to re-click, re-select I should say. About that, and how much would that be? About five million dollars. It's not that much, but I don't want to go over, so... We'll go with four million, which is a bit cheap for them, but let's give them that, and they should accept. Now, for California... Okay. Food, water, timber, petrol... Coal, metal ore. Okay, so they need some food, it would seem. Hopefully our production will be able to outpace the demands. But concerning the amount, I guess we could go with daily for about... Hmm... 
originally 30 days, but I could extend that a little bit more. Already past 60 days, now I gotta go to... Eh, why not? Give him that. How much is that? 64 million dollars. A little bit pricey. That's a little too high. Let's go to 41 dollars. 41 million dollars, sorry. And see if I can do this. A little better. Total value is about 5 billion dollars in profits, but let's reduce that just a tiny bit. Can we give you some tech that you can perhaps accept? Doesn't seem like it. But first... Hmm, 500 million dollars just for 4.91 million tons of coal. Eh, a little, a little bit of uh, money would be nice to have. And looks like that's not gonna work. I guess considering the amount of days is a little bit extreme. It's probably always the case, so let's reduce that to about... 80 days? How much will that be? 43 million dollars. Uh, let's go with 24 million, at least. I'll go with, a uh, for, uh, for now, 100, then reduce that to about 80 days. Probably may not work, though, because of how the AI is always stingy, no matter how much technology I would give. Uh, biofuel, clean coal, warfare, air defenses, common missiles. Uh... Okay, so you're in... Okay, what, okay, whatever, California, you're on your own. <laughs> Oi. Uh, New York. Plenty of water. Timber, not so much, but food, I guess, we may have to try again. This time, I'm only going to go about, oh, 60 days, I guess. Oops. Uh, 60 days, about that much, which is going to cost about $32 million. Let's go with $28 million and ask for that. Seems... oh, wait. There we go. Now, will they accept any tech? We just make a question. Nope. None of these, not even new technology... Eh, okay. So, not New York. And I guess that's about it for now, since we still have the weekly trades with several of our several of our neighbor uh, neighbors. Thailand. Oh, and I also do have to try and rebuild the military bit by bit at the very least. We do have several new tanks being built, but artillery. I think we're okay with artillery at the moment. But let's check Beijing, Chengdu. Anyway, first I gotta get this transport all the way out to this destroyer. Let's see if that could even work. Now let's try to build up our military once again. Since we did take a lot of casualties, but we do have plenty, like I said, plenty of tanks being built. Well, at least, at least that's what I would like to think. Another tank being built, so let's get some... J99s, light tanks, light me, uh, J99 light tanks, I guess, technically. Get two of those. Get another one. Another one standing by. Uh, this is fine. My Zuru. Nope. Wait. Wait, where is my Zuru? Huh. Okay, another bond renewal. That's nice to know. Um, let's try and build another land fabrication. Just to speed things up a little bit. Here, in what was North Korea, we got two, ve two to three vehicles almost done, so let's get those J99s built. J90s being built here. Wait, what? Why does it say three? Oh. It's just delayed because of an engineer being... Uh, no, I don't want another engineer. I want new tank. 
on another J99. And I want some more variety of different designs. Let's get some J96. Put that in Q. Sendai. Well, Sendai... I suppose we could get some J99. Just one J99 for now, and some... J96s. And that's it. Shenyang. Oh, Seoul. Okay, we got another engineer being built. Don't need that. We'll just get some J89s. At least three standing by. And trade with Uzbekistan for about seven a week for about that much. It's nice to know. Domestic prices are too high, I know. Takatsuki still building engineers. It's always the case for the AI to just keep building engineers all the time, which... Well, I can understand since they are amphibious, same with the J-73s, which should have been building those. What about here? All the way down in formerly Vietnam. Okay, another bottom renewal. Uh, let's try and get some anti-tanks. Particularly the J-96-2 Mads 4s. Three of those, or... Actually, we do... Ah, yeah, just two. Up here. Another engineer. Let's get some anti-tanks. Wuhan, a J-90 being built. Um, infantry, infantry. Let's get some J-89s this time. Keep that in queue for now. Okay, that's another bond renewal. In... Yen gone. Let's... Keep building more J96s and some J89s. Here in... Well... In what was Korea... Okay, that's a lot of tanks. Can we deploy them all the way over here? I guess we can, so let's reserve them, if it's possible. Also, I need to check on that ship. Okay, it's getting closer, but will this work? I don't know. We need to double check any other sort of transport that could resupply any of the stranded ships, unfortunately. Well, that didn't work. Uh, too far away. Want somewhere a little closer. No. No. Uh, no. Now I got these LSTs. One LST in Funabashi. Another one here, another one here. All of these are too far away. Okay, so the SDKs can't resupply. Don't know about these, though. Um, why not? Let's just try and get these ships all the way out here. And have you reserve. That would sort of waste the time for the captain, I guess, but... There's nothing I can do about that. CPU here is almost done. Let's get these armies somewhere. Where is the capital of... Okay, Central Siberia's capital is over here, so if war were to be declared... Okay, that's a, that's a river. Well... I suppose entering Mongolia and we're entrenched in this village. Try and take this airfield, hold on to it, get reinforcements, and although it would be nice to get over to these mines, it, the mountain's a bit annoying, I suppose we could try and take this town, take control of that, and get more reinforcements, and whatever forces that are over here deal with the eastern or, yeah, eastern front areas. And then try to slowly make our way toward the capital of Central Siberia. So, for these units, a little closer to uh, Huarin, however you pronounce that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
understand about the petrol problem. Now where was I? Got some J90s being built here. Actually a little too many. So let's get several J73s. One over here. More J90s. And let's get some light infantry this time. Since they're cheaper to build. A lonely land fabrication all the way up in what is what was at Eastern Siberia. Let's just build another one just to be safe. And what to build and research breakthrough. Nice. But what to build here? We're only building transports. I suppose we could use a little more, since I don't want to deal with the possibility of running out of transports and having troops run out of supplies. All the way up in... What it... Wait, where's Sapporo? Oh, it's right here. My bad. Uh, here, just nothing of the, out of the ordinary. Just try to get some more recon units. Get those. And one other place that seems to be a bit mixed up here. Oh, these land fabrications, but I'm just going to ignore that. And it's another bond renewal. And inflation is negative 1.6 now. It's nice to know. And unemployment is 9%. Uh, okay, two bond renewals this time. That's nice to know. CPR is not done yet, of course. But now what to do? There's quite a lot of areas here that are not connected, either by road or rail. The entirety of the Sakhalin Island here is completely connected now. But the majority of former Eastern Siberia isn't. And there are areas that it would be nice to start trying to mine. But supply lines are not really spreading that much. Well, I guess I could start building a massive railway network. Connect to here, here, and these towns, then head toward... Uh, well, one connecting here. This town connect to this town. I guess connect there, connect there, here. Then toward these mines. Here, connect that, connect that, connect this one all the way up here. Um, here, and I guess that's it for now. Let's try to build a railway line to connect to this direction alongside the road. And that village I'm going to ignore. Then connect up to here, although will that mean a bridge? Yeah, that's gonna mean a bridge is gonna be built. Ah oh well. Anywhere else we could build a new railway. UN subsidy rating, that's nice. some ore mines here, but where is the nearest... Oh. The nearest village is all the way up here. Hmm. Well, I guess I can make this a rather... maybe a little too expensive to do, but build a massive railway through the mountains, connect to this mine, and connect... Um. Hmm. I suppose here would do. Eh, we'll just leave that alone. And let's see. No supply deep. Oh wait, 
There is a supply depot there, but no seep here. I didn't really want to do that, but I just want to build just one seep here, to be honest. Now, is there anywhere else? Just this lonely town with a nuclear power plant all the way up here. Okay, I guess I may have to extend the railway to connect there. Just that I want to go through most of the rivers, but... Eh, you know what, why not? Might as well just go through most of the rivers anyway. Okay, that's probably it. Now to connect another railway. Since there's only a road here. Follow the roads. Then through this open area, then build another railway to go through the mountains. Go around. I could go this way and then connect to here. I don't see any other towns that are isolated. That's nice. And what does Greece want? Seven days of industrial goods. Well, we could use the extra money now. As our economy is finally recovering, inflation hasn't changed yet. But the GDP is still rising. Approval ratings rising, and population is growing as well. Speaking of which, um, regional news. Immigration 2 million, emigration 2 million 500, births 25 million, deaths 17 million. Hmm. United Nations membership. Subsidy rating is now 27%. Alright. No need to look at religion as most it's mostly Buddhist after all. And only a minor amount of Sunni Muslims, Roman Catholics, Protestants, and whatever religions. I'm guessing locals. At least that's what I like to perhaps guess. Now, is that ship there yet? Okay, I guess this is the ship to resupply these warships at the least. The destroyers and frigates. Okay, who's next? Okay, thank you for the offer, uh, Paris. Hong Kong. Oh. Okay, you have quite a mil you have a quite a military presence here. No ships. But a lot of lend leased um T seventy twos, BMPs and such for your own military. It's nice for them. Uh but about Greater Malaysia. Well, Singapore has a pretty heavy presence, including some LSDs that are loaded up for some reason. Wait, what's our relations? Sort of good, but I did have a plan to, well, perhaps conquer Malaysia. The Philippines, we have good relations, but I'm not going to bother. Same with Taiwan. Cambodia relations are still not that great. Bangladesh, still not great. India, also not great. And the same Bhutan. Alright then, what about... Yeah, Central Siberia is also not that good. Okay, uh, where are those ships? Alright, you... Reserve... And the transport get all the way to these... Fr uh, frigate and patrol ship. And or ordering them to reserve. Oh well. Oh no 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 no! I don't want you. I want you to be scrapped. No offense, but I don't want any more of these units. Not to mention the amount of rebuilding we have to do due to the Great War for the Korean Peninsula. 
But I'm going to stop here as I've now ran out of time. But I hope you enjoyed this. There's nothing going up right now just to rebuild our military, get our economy and GDP up, and maybe deal with the unemployment. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you again in the next episode. And hope that nobody declares war. But I'll see you then.